Hey guys, Andy Vidot from Atri Real Estate. We're here at our new listing, uh, which is 56 Archdale Loop in Piara Waters. We're just around the corner from a Piara Waters Primary School, so pretty much in walking distance, um, but still far enough away that you're not gonna get school traffic and, and things like that. So I uh, really just wanted to take you through, give you a look at the home. Um, hopefully maybe it might be something that suits you. So anyway, the front here, um, as you can see, is really low maintenance, easy care. So we've got all artificial turf there um, with small garden bed at the front as well with, as you can see, just a few plants um, and nice, nice water wise, easy care. Um, also to that side as well, you'll see there's just um, a couple of hedge sort of style plants um, that are there. And once again, just that easy care. So come through, um, as you can see the front, um, double, double lock up garage, which we'll have a look from the inside. Nice sort of path way through the through the front of the house there and also um, at the entry. I like how they've done that at the front there. A lot of people will actually have a garden bed through the front, um, which sometimes with reticulation and watering can add moisture and dampness to walls. So I like how they put a path through the front and, and kept that water away from the walls, which is quite nice. I've got these little lights through the front as well. You've got your single door entry, a uh, little window through the side, which obviously uh, will let a lot of natural light through to the main area. Um, as you can see, as we come through, you've got your timber laminated uh, flooring, um, which is nice, light, bright color, and nice, really light, bright colored walls. Um, and you can also see that the down light's sort of running through everywhere as well. But we'll head into the first bedroom, which is the master bedroom. Have a bit of a look. Um, so once again, you've got all these uh, neutral colors through, throughout. So really light and bright with the white sort of walls, etc. You've got these nice white blinds through here, um, neutral coloured natural carpets through there. You've got your down lights through there as well. Full walk-in row, so you can see good size through here. And the ensuite itself, you can see that um, those natural sort of tones sort of following through with the white is really nice as well. So you can see that. You've got your glass shower screen and your toilet there. All right, let's head through. We'll have a look um, straight across the hallway is the shopper's entry for the garage. So we'll go through, just have a quick look here. The reason why I bring you into this garage, a lot of garages I don't worry too much about, but this one, obviously double garage through to there. Behind me here is obviously a little bit of extra space, which work as a storage area or a workshop. You've also got this roller door, manual roller door that you could take, um, obviously access through out to the back. Um, and you also do have a single door entry to the back as well. So really well use, good use of space through this garage here. Um, and so you're having a shed or a storage room outside as well. All right, we'll have a look. So that brings us into um, the kitchen and meals area. With the kitchen, you can see it's quite open sort of plan kitchen. You've got quite a bit of sort of space through here. You've got your, your sink. You've also got a dishwasher recess through there. Um, some nice feature lighting hanging through. Uh, you've got your... 900 mil appliances as well through there. Um, nice, once again, neutral tiled splashbacks uh, with all your neutral tiled cupboards. There is your windows on the sides there as well, which is quite nice, obviously, with that natural light. And you have got your, um, obviously, your blinds there as well, which you can see. Quite nice, modern, and just very sleek, yeah. Well, uh, once again, down lights through here. All right. You've got your, your meals area, which opens up into a big window through there. So you've got that natural light coming through, gives it a nice sort of airy feel through here as well. Um, and then what they've done with the, the living space, they've actually separated that into um, having some carpet there, which is quite nice. It's like, just like, like having a big rug down on your, on your floors, I suppose. And um, yeah, it just gives it a bit more of a cozier feel through this section here. Uh, so they've got this set up. Quite minimalist, but quite sort of unique and um, functionable as well. So you can see that with your, your TV through that end. You've got sliding door. We'll actually go out through there a little bit later. I want to take you to the minor bedrooms first, just to have a look. Um, and as you can see, there's a, there's a ton of down light sort of running through here. So light is not an issue through here and actually works really nicely as a feature. So as we go into this space, you can close off the main living area through this door here to the minor bedrooms. What we'll do, we'll go to this bedroom first. So you've got that, once again, that laminated floor running through, um, and then the bedroom's that same color theme as the, as the carpet and walls, etc. This is the first of the minor bedrooms, which you can see is a good size room. Has got your, your down lights, 
Same blinds as the master bedroom through there, which is just slat blinds you can see in the white, and also has a mirrored robe through there as well with your shelf and hanging space. All right, we'll head through. There is also lots of PowerPoints as well, so no shortage of PowerPoints, which is always good and handy. Um, we'll go through to the common bathroom, which once again has got those down lights, um, exhaust fan, colours nice and neutral. Um, you can see, you know, a nice bit of sunlight coming through. You've got your bathtub, and once again, your glass shower screens through there. Um, the, the last of the two minor bedrooms, a little bit unique, which um, is a, a little bit different. I like, I like this feature. Uh, the, both of them, the other one you'll see as well, which is on the flip side, have their own sliding doors. So you can see you've got your bedroom, and then if you want, you know, the person staying here can go in, in and out as they want and have their own privacy and space, I suppose, to do that. Uh, once again, you've got your same robes um, in the bedroom, so you've got your mirrored robe with the hanging shelf. Yeah. Uh, this is the, the common, or well, the laundry. You've got linen covered through there as well, which you can see goes back quite deep. Um, and there is lots of shelving and storage through there as well. You have got your common toilet through there. And then obviously your, there's a bench space, um, some cupboards and a lot of space underneath for washing baskets, those kinds of things. Uh, dryer and washing machine through there as well, which also has its own sliding door out to that area. All right, this is the, the fourth bedroom or the last of the miners, um, which you can see decent sized rooms um, with your down lights, all that same neutral colouring through and also access out to the back as well. And all the frames and that sort of matching with the walls. So you can see all the window frames and everything white like the walls as well as the curtains. So everything's very fresh and clean feeling and whatever furniture that you may have or whatever you know, colour scheme that you like um, is going to work here because obviously everything up against white is great. So um, yeah, all right, come through this way. We'll actually go into the backyard and have a bit of a look what's happening out here. Oh. Yeah, so you've got this um, under the main roof, there's this little um, sort of patio area. So you've got this and it's just done quite nice. It's got a really nice feel to it, nice and cosy. And you've got, as you can see, when we we're in the double garage, that was the door through to the back. Um, and then also you've got this roller door here as well. Um, if you bring things through that are a bit wider or anything like that, or, um, you know, if you have any equipment you want to use to do any gardening or things like that as well. All right, we come through here. So once again, you can see through the back, they've, um, like the front, they've gone with quite a low maintenance sort of feel about it. Uh, so you've got a couple of pots through here, really just some wood chips. You could do whatever you wanted with this space if you like the look, at it, look of it as it is, leave it like that. Um, you could turn into, you know, spots from veggie gardens, those sorts of things would work really well along there as well. Um, and then you've got the second patio, which is obviously the added on patio through here. Um, and then also the back turf, which you can see is um, an artificial turf as well. So very, once again, low maintenance, easy care. Um, ultimately nothing to do here, um, unless you wanted to you know, make more or create more from there. Um, your two sliding doors out from those minor bedrooms. Then you've got um, just this side of the home, which obviously just houses your hot water system, etc. cetera. Um, pretty standard. All right, so come on through. Nice little guy. Yeah. Yeah, so quite a warm day out there, so we just moved out of the sun. Um, but ultimately, this is 56 Archdale in Piara Waters. Uh, really nice, clean, fresh, tidy, low maintenance home. Uh, if that's something that you're looking for around the Piara Waters school zone there, uh, please reach out, give us a call. Always happy to have a chat. Um, and this one may suit you. Thank you.